Hey guys, Quake here from Gridit. So this is a quick tutorial on how to present your logos using Logo Grid Generator. So this is my behance, just gonna get straight into it. So you've probably seen a lot of these type of grids where you have the lines, the anchors, and you have all of this stuff. And it actually does take a while to do. So I've done a survey and I asked 56 graphic designers how long it will take to do something like this. 30% said 60 minutes and 36% said 30 minutes. Um, and I think 15% said like 20 minutes, sorry, 15 minutes, which was even a long time. So on average, it was about 30 to, to 60 minutes just to do a grid like this. So with low grid generator, you can just do it instantly at a click of a button. Um, so let's take this is like one of my favorite quizzes. Let's take this for example. So let's copy this image. So if we want to present it, um, create this for our presentation, what we can do. So because logo grid generator actually re knows what size the artboard is and it will only produce grid lines to the edge. So you don't have to like change the edge of edge of the lines. So what we can do is if we just select generate all and before that, let me click on that layer and actually create a background, making it the same as that, and then copying that. And if we go to outlines, let's take off the outline, and then we go to grid lines, grid lines are black, so we can just do that. And if we click anchors, sorry, select, I said collect and collect together. <laughs> so we collect, so we select anchors and handles together, you can do this by holding shift and selecting the target layers. And then you can just click this. This is my favorite default setting, just very quick. And then you can just paste the grid color circle. So it looks like this and you literally have the exact same thing. So another thing that you can actually do is actually do file export, export for screen. And I like to keep the scale on 4X because I find that 4X has a better resolution than doing 1x or default. 1x actually starts to be blurry and I've noticed that for Instagram posts. So if you're doing it for presentation or Instagram posts, you wanna do scale 4x and then you can see the grid lines um, better. So yeah, that's just a quick tutorial on how to present your logos using Logo Grid Generator.